more breaking news. For the second time today, the commanders have deal dealt a edge rusher. This time, according to Ian Rappaport and the rest of us, it is Chase Young going from the commanders to the 49ers in exchange for a 2024 third round draft pick. Let's bring back in our Ian Rappaport as well as Mike Garofolo with us as well and Judy Batista. Ian, we knew going into the, into the weekend, and we talked about this on game day morning on Sunday, people within the league believed one, if not both the commanders, edge rushers could be on the move, and that's exactly what's happened today. Yeah, first Montez Sweat goes to the Chicago Bears, an unlikely destination. And now Chase Young, the former number two overall pick, goes to the San Francisco 49ers in exchange for a third round draft pick, a much more likely destination. The 49ers defense really struggled the last couple of weeks under Steve Wilkes, beef up their defensive line, give them someone on the opposite side from Nick Bosa. And, you know, if you're the 49ers, you have aspirations to go deep, deep into the playoffs. The best way to do it is to stop the other team's quarterback from doing what he does. Adding Chase Young to the mix, certainly someone who could do that as talented as anyone. He is in the last year of his deal, so likely going to need a contract extension at some point. All of that goes into the price, but I think the main thing for the 49ers this year is that they just got a lot better on defense with a premium talent off the edge. So all of those high hopes for that defensive line in Washington that was stacked with uh, – First round draft picks now over. They got rid of two of them today. I don't expect I didn't expect that they would get rid of both. I thought it would be one or the other. But mostly I come away from this thinking I love the arms race in the NFC. Howie Roseman in Philadelphia made the move last week with Bayer to shore up his secondary. The Niners defense has struggled the last few weeks. They're on a three game losing streak. They are not in first place in the NFC West right now. And so they go make the splash move. I just love the head-to-head -head race that they are engaged in right now. Yeah, I'm just typing this tweet out. I'll just say it on the air. How about that? So over the past couple of years, the 49ers have received multiple third-round compensatory picks for developing diverse candidates for GM and head coach, including Martin Mayhew, Robert Sala, Martin Mayhew now with the Commanders, coincidentally, uh, Mike McDaniel, Rand Carthen, uh, and uh, D'Amico Ryans. So now they used one of those third-round compensatory picks in the deal to get Chase Young uh, to San Francisco. There were a bunch of other teams that were kind of circling around this one. I had heard that the compensation was around a third-round pick. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Wound up getting done for a comp third. And when you are talking about these deals with players who have expiring contracts, yes, you're looking at potentially signing those guys to long-term deals, there's also the possibility that if those contracts end ex expiring, you could franchise tag those players. And if you can't work out a deal, you potentially could trade them and get that compensation back. So a lot of moving parts here. But what we know, the 49ers and Bears, two teams in very different positions, both upgraded their pass rush with deals with Washington. We